So over the past few years, I've seen a really clear pattern with SEO tools. Number one, they've gotten more expensive. And number two, they've gotten really bloated. So if you actually log into Ahrefs or SEMrush today, I'm sure you're gonna see six or seven new tools that you've never seen and aren't really sure how to use. And so to add on to that, I'm someone who works a lot with clients be that small business owners, startups, or designers. And I always get asked, does it make sense to spend 100 to $200 a month on these SEO tools? And the reality is, that if your full-time job is SEO, if that's all you do in your day-to-day, -day, then it probably makes sense to invest in these mega tools. But for someone who's using SEO as one of the many avenues to grow online, it might not make too much sense. And so out of the frustration of not being able to recommend a solid, high-quality SEO data tool with affordable pricing plans, I decided to build one. So for a monthly pricing that starts under $25 with clicks.so, you have access to high quality SEO data with the four core SEO tools that you need to do SEO properly. And these are the same tools that all these other mega SEO companies have. So these tools are keyword research, site analysis, backlink analysis, and site audits. And there's no extra fluff here, guys. I'm not going to try and sell you an AI clustering tool or a PR monitoring tool. I'm not really interested in that. What I want to do is build the best affordable SEO data tool out there everybody can use. Now, let me show you how it works. So once you log in to Clicks, you're going to find the projects page. You can add any projects you want here just so you can see how it's growing and what it looks like over time. So the keywords, the monthly organic traffic, the traffic history over the past couple years, and all of those locations. If you click into this, this will open up a site that, but we'll get to that in a second. So the keyword research side of things. So type in any keyword here and also select whichever country or language pair you would like. I'm just going to take a look at this example here, vegan brownies. And as we can see, once it loads up, it's a pretty solid amount of data per keyword. So we have the difficulty, the volume, the average cost per click, the trend of the volume for this keyword, and then we have phrase match and related keywords. If we open up, these are two separate reports that we get for each search. We have a variety of different keywords, their search volume, their difficulty, the cost per click, all these filters that we can play around with. Same thing for related keywords. So again, also very similar search volume difficulty, the same amount of filters and a bunch of different keywords that we can play around with pages and pages of related and phrase match keywords. If we go back to the overview, we scroll down to the SERP, we're going to have pretty simple SERP. So the rankings of who's on the top, a bunch of different pages, I think up to a hundred results for each keyword. We have the estimated traffic, the URL power, so that's the quality and amount of backlinks that this URL is getting. And then the domain power, which is the quality and amount of backlinks that this domain is getting. And so if we actually open this up, we can have an even more granular report for this specific URL, all the keywords that it's ranking for, the backlinks, and so on. Now, moving on to site stats, we can take a look at domains and URLs. So subdomains and subfolders are not available just yet. This is one of the things that we're working on right now. So taking a look at this domain, we're going to see a bunch of data as well. So this is what a full report looks like. So keywords, the estimated traffic, the domain power, backlinks referring domains. This is the traffic over time. We can see it's growing. Traffic by location, the top pages, and the historical keyword positioning. So how many of their keywords are ranked 11 plus on the SERPs? 4 to 10 and then 1 to 3. We can see all the individual rankings as well here. Now we also have these side pages here. So we can take a look at all the keywords that this domain is ranking for. So vegan lasagna, scrambled tofu, number one, the estimated traffic and the URL that it's ranking for. We also have the top pages here. Take a look at which are the pages that are getting the most traffic for this domain. And then we also have competitor domains. So this is all included in one search for one site stat. So a lot of different data here that we can take a look at. Next, we're going to take a look at backlinks. So also very similar, but very specific for backlinks. So again, domain power, the referring domains and the backlinks. We do see that trend over time of the domain power, how the referring domains are growing and how the backlinks are growing as well as the top pages for backlinks. So the best by links pages, right? So we see that the homepage is the one with the most amount of backlinks. What about referring domains? Looks like the easy vegan gravy is the one with most referring domains. So we also have a full backlinks report. So we can see where this domain is getting most of its backlinks from. So we see the domain, the URL from, the domain power, page power, spam score, the number of backlinks from that domain and whether it's do follow or no follow. So a lot of different backlinks that we can explore here. Pretty interesting stuff. Keep going down here. Take a look at the anchors as well. So simple report, but it's everything you guys might be needing to do SEO without having to pay a crazy amount of money. So the anchors and then you have the backlinks and the referring domains. And then we also have competitors for backlinks as well. So who's competing for the backlinks that 
that I already have. Minimal Baker, the Spruce Eats, all of these different domains. And last but not least, the site audit. I'm quite proud of what we built with the site audit. It's not easy to build one of these tools, but it looks really, really solid. So I could add in the same domain, so noracooks.com. This might take five to 10 minutes. As you're gonna see here, we have the max crawl pages. So this is gonna depend on the tier that you select. It's gonna find all those pages, add them to the queue. And then within a five to 10 minute range, it's gonna crawl all of those pages. So as that gets done, we can actually go back to the site auto page and explore a couple of these other ones. Here's the apple.com one, which is finished. It's crawled 2000 pages and it has found 257 warnings, no errors. So pretty solid score, everything in check. And these are some of the issues. So no image alt tag is the first one. If we open this up, we're going to see all the different URLs that have missing alt tags, right? So pretty solid to be able to find all of these issues. Again, some other issues down here and then all the past tests for this domain. So that's basically it guys, a full SEO tool starting at $25. Any feedback or tips that you have, I would love to hear in the comments and I'm looking forward to building the best affordable SEO data tool with all of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.